Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I'm at Memorial Park. I've never done a video from this location. I've shown Memorial Park, but uh, usually there's a lot of kids here. There's playground equipment. There's one, two, three, four ball fields. Lots of uh, walking paths. There's that pond in the back where we shot the uh, turtles and the ducks a few times. We didn't shoot them. That would probably cause a ruckus. <laughs> we filmed them. There's a big uh, barbecue pit back there. Oh man, I would love to get some barbecue from uh, my buddy Bud that lives here in town. Bud's pretty awesome. I haven't seen him in a few days. I'm gonna have to check in on him few days few weeks Bud's a good guy there's a sign right up the road there it says uh, watch for rattlesnakes that should be like the Texas state motto you know the way politics are right now that should be like a United States motto just watch for rattlesnakes kind of encompasses everything and by politics right now, I mean since I was born in 1962. Old enough to be uh, alive for just a little bit of JFK in office. And I think it's been all downhill since then. <laughs> Let's get the horrible dad joke out of the way. Why did the duck love the dog? That's an easy one. He was purebred. But um bum. Dad joke. Mission accomplished. You know, I drove by the pool. Absolutely packed. Like the entire parking lot packed. Uh, 10.30 in the morning. Friday morning. And I thought that's, you know, okay, it's summer. I get it. But to have no one here, I mean, one or two people out walking the trails. And I'd imagine the people that walk the trails got here a lot earlier in the day. The sun's been up for about four hours now. Or they come later in the day when uh, the temperatures drop a bit. The wind feels stronger here, but it's 10 miles an hour. So uh, I have my wireless microphone under my shirt to get that extra blockage and then I kind of am switching hands keeping it kind of cupped over the microphone so I hope we don't get a whole lot of wind noise today but I uh, been running errands for friends and doing things for people because a lot of people do things for me not complaining about that but uh, came over here to the park figuring I might get lucky and it looks like I am being able to film in a different spot. And I got out of the truck and with the breeze going, I'm like, this is really, see, I mean, that, there's a gust that has to be, that has to be 20 miles an hour right now. And it actually feels nice and cool. I'm in the shade. And um, just out of curiosity, I asked what the wind speed was and Siri said 10 miles an hour. Okay. And then I asked what the heat index was, which is always a mistake. It's 104 at 1030 in the morning. But like I said, with this breeze going and the shade, it's uh, really comfortable right here and I might need to make the most of it. I don't think I can upload a video from this spot. Now, this park has free Wi-Fi throughout the park, which is awesome. And it's good for just getting online and checking things, but not for uploading videos or downloading a book or a movie. But I, it's just amazing to me that a park has Wi-Fi, you know? So I'm gonna try to upload it from here and see what happens, because it doesn't cost me any gas to sit here and enjoy the shade and the breeze. There's uh, four or five ballparks here, a uh, soccer field, two soccer fields over there. And uh, yeah, they have a couple real fancy 
ballparks. They have bleachers, you know, like brick and fencing and everything and advertising on the outfields. A uh, couple sets of restrooms. I think there's three sets of restrooms in this park. And um, there was, there's a basketball court over there. There was a tennis court there. But when they redid the tennis courts kind of down by the high school, there's two sets there. So I guess they took them out here. There's the love shack. There's my girl. Sleep with her every night. <laughs> we're, we're like a married couple. We just go to sleep. There ain't nothing happening in there. <laughs> There's the soccer fields over there. There's a gentleman walking over there. He's got a Luciano hat on. Adobe Gillis hat, if you will. And now we're going full circle. Here comes my hand for a second. Sorry about that. And now we're back here. Isn't that awesome? I have a cheat sheet, but I think I used it all. I just jot down little talking points because I have no memory. Rattlesnakes. Oh, good thing I checked. Um, when I was in the, I'm always getting spiders in my truck. <laughs> I haven't been bitten by a brown recluse yet that I know of bonus and um, I got a little one the other day uh, in in the back during the day I saw him and I kind of grabbed him in my hand and set him free and then uh, later in the day I had one in the front of the cab like a good size one and I kept feeling them on the back of my neck and I uh, I tried to capture him a few times and he would go away and come back, and then he eventually got the, uh, he eventually met his, his maker through this hand. So um, I, I gave him some warning pushes, and then uh, I, I don't mind things crawling on me, but I need to know what's crawling on me, you know? I, I don't mind snakes, but I don't know anything about snakes, so... I always get away from the snake, and then if I get a chance, I'll take a photo. I don't know if all you guys know this. If, if you ever have a plant or a animal, any, anything, that a statue, and you don't know what it is, you can just take a picture and, and put it in uh, Google search, accepts photos, and it'll tell you what it is. And on some things like leaves and things like that that I've used it for, it has um, given you several choices, and it all depends on the quality of your photo, but I, I've, I've done it with uh, cars and uh, everything else. Here comes some people playing. <laughs> Little man's all happy. Can you hear the birds? Or just the traffic? We're right off uh, Pearl Street in Rockport. We go to the left, it takes us up to uh, the 35 bypass. We're directly across the street from the Rockport Post Office. And uh, if you go to the right, it'll take you down by uh, Presbyterian Church where Luciano is. You know, when I was dropping off Mark, he, is, uh, he lives right by that church. Uh, oh, what is it? I'm sorry. Te uh, Templos. Templo San Fe, and I'm probably butchering that. I apologize. And they were having the food giveaway. I think I think they give it away till 6:30, and um, it was 6:38, and I pulled up and I was third in line. And then eventually some cars came behind me, but I got um, two boxes of vegetables, uh, potatoes. Um, sweet potatoes, carrots, and a watermelon in each box, and I, I gave those away. And the only reason I give those away is because to cook that on my butane, to cook raw vegetables just takes forever. And I, I know people that need them. I gave Luciano a watermelon, he was happy about that. And then I had um, 10 pounds of chicken, which I gave to another friend. 
and, and I didn't know I was getting it, and I sent several people messages, and when I do that, I don't know I'm getting that ahead of time, so I, I gave that and some milk, uh, two half gallons of milk to a friend, and then I um, had some beans and powdered milk and canned vegetables and peanut butter and raisins, and I filled up the blessing box. So, uh, and I still have some more things in my uh, truck that I guess I'm going to keep some some expensive bread that had just expired, like the kind that's like three fifty a loaf, the artesian bread. Oh, it's artesian. It's a dollar loaf of bread, but if you write artesian on the packaging, it's now a four dollar loaf of bread. <laughs> and uh, peanut butter and raisins. So I'm happy with that. And some canned fruit. I put some canned fruit in the blessing box and I have some in the truck. So I feel good because the people that I, I gave things to were either working or just don't have transportation like Luciano. Can you guys hear the birds? Where's my mic? Let me cover it up. Make sure you can hear it. Here comes a navigation district truck. Parks department, it says. Same people that take care of Rockport Beach, take care of a lot of the parks. And they do a really good job. Uh, you can tell someone was already here this morning. It looks like they power washed this area because when I got here, there were small puddles on the ground and they're gone already. It's just so hot and so humid. And there's a pregnant mom and her son. He's going to have a little brother, a little sister. Or one of the other 28 choices you can have now. <laughs> you don't know. I wonder what a current birth certificate looks now like. It used to be boy or girl, and is it politically correct now where there's like 38 choices on there? I don't know. You guys do what you want to do. Be who you want to be. I want to be a fireman. <laughs> I don't want to be a fireman. I'm not brave enough to be a fireman. Firemen are brave. 90% of firemen are brave and the other 10% are there's something wrong with those guys. <laughs> right, Calvin? <laughs> I think, I think Calvin might be 50-50 on that one. I hope Blanca's doing good. And I hope my buddy Drew, his dog Tika. And yeah. Yeah, it's, that's family. People's dogs. I love people's dogs. My friend Joe with um, Emma and uh, Nacho. Nacho is just a nickname. The dog's real name is Ignacio, just so you guys know. He's, he wasn't born a Nacho, but he enjoys that nickname. See an American flag and a Texas flag. I don't know if I can get it through the trees there. A bunch of live oaks. If you uh, don't believe me that they're live oaks, you can do a screen capture and run it through Google search. Boom. See how I brought that all back together there? And, uh, yeah, friends in Canada, friends in Australia, everyone's got uh, their own set of problems that we can all share worldwide. I wish governments could get along like we get along on uh, the community that we have here. It'd be pretty cool. The upper clouds are kind of moving east, and the lower clouds are moving west. That's pretty interesting. I know that's not real uncommon, but I still like to see it. So what videos, okay, so just today, I watched videos by All Astrology, 
RV Living with the Geezer, Rusty78609, Sharon Nature, um, man, I know I watch more than that, but I'm kind of going down my list of people that I subscribe to, making sure that if they don't have a new video out, that I'm at least watching one of their older videos, kind of jumping around. And if it's a video that I've already seen, I at least want to play it and listen to it while I'm driving from one place to another. He's a climber. He's a climber. That little boy's a climber. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a good day. Whose birthday is it today? It is Angie's birthday. And I think I said happy birthday to Angie in this morning's video. But happy birthday again, Angie. I hope you and Cherie are having a good visit to Rockport, Texas. Fisherwomen, fisher persons. <laughs> fisher of fish. Jesus was a fisher of men. These two are fisher of fish. I don't know what they do in their spare time. They could be fisher of men too. I don't know. I talked to them for like 10 minutes. You think I would know all about them? Nope. This is a good spot when there's not a whole lot of people here. I've never seen it like this, actually. I need to hang out here more when it's 104 degrees. Most of the playground equipment is in the shade, or at least the one I'm looking at where uh, they're playing at. So that's really neat. I don't, I don't know if it'll show up here, but some of the little uh, posts they have to block vehicles from coming through are shaped like baseball bats, which is pretty neat. I remember in Louisville, I got to visit the Louisville Slugger Museum, and they have a giant bat out front. And I think it's three stories high. I'm not sure, but it's neat just to be driving down the street and see a three-story Louisville slugger and pretty detailed too. Louisville's a cool town. I have good memories of Louisville. Louisville has, you know, like when, when you get off at the Houston airport, there's a statue of uh, the first President Bush. In Louisville, you get off the statue and remember, Muhammad Ali is from Louisville. Is there a Muhammad Ali statue? No. Who do they have there? Colonel Sanders. <laughs> I wonder where Ronald McDonald was born, if there's a Ronald McDonald statue at the, the airport. Or at least the Grimace. I think he's driving a diesel. What do you think? Guys, I think that's enough of my nonsense for one day, don't you think? I, I don't know how you guys do it. Even I get sick of me. So, is that a dove or a pigeon? I don't know. Thanks for sitting with me in Memorial Park today, guys. Rockport, Texas. Thanks for watching.